see us perform live, use that big brain of yours and follow us on Twitch. We do things live there sometimes. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Hutch and we are going to talk about milkshakes. Specifically, cookout milkshakes. Uh, Brittany, uh, uh, Brittany, what milkshake brings you to the yard? God damn it, that was the joke I was... <laughs> I know, that's why I stopped! <laughs> <laughs> it's your own damn fault for letting me. I should have listened to you. You can feel it in his excited movement on the couch. Like, he was sitting up like, I want to make a joke. It's like... Guys, it's, I've got one. 15, I've got a funny. It's 15 years old now, I'm going to make a joke. <laughs> Kelly should be proud. Who? Yeah, I know the artist <laughs> who did the song. Her name's Kellis. No, her name is Kelis. Carl. Ooh, <laughs> clap back. <laughs> I don't think it's pronounced that way. I've always heard it pronounced Kelis, but... Take it to the goobs. Kellis? Ooh. Yeah, she was dating Nas at the time. Well, let's call Take- him Nas and ask him. <laughs> you mean Big Nas Y? <laughs> yes, Big Nas Y. <laughs> He's going to get on that uh, little town road. Mm. All right, Bra- Brian, we- tell me about your milkshake. <laughs> okay. From so, cookout. So cookout. They have a choice of like forty what flavors? It's forty. Like forty one or something mm-hmm. like that. But here's the thing that I learned when I moved to Raleigh. I think you told me this. You can choose up to three different flavors to put into a milkshake. Yep. So mine is an Oreo milkshake mm-hmm. with butterfinger pieces nice. and heath toffee pieces. That sounds really good. And I that is my that's my go to milkshake. I have other ones. I like uh the there's a banana pudding one and I like to put cheesecake bits into it. Hell yeah. Mm. And then I also every now and then I'll get just a chocolate milkshake with um with like every candy bar in it. Mm. Like basically Reese's Pieces, Butterfingers, any and I'll just whichever one I'm feeling at the time, but my go to is Oreos, Butterfingers, Heath Toffee. Nice. I used to love Butterfinger, but it's like I can't get over it. like it keeps getting stuck in your teeth. Have so. you tried it? The new recipe? They came up with a new recipe no. like last year. Yeah. And it's that it's next to never less, happens. It's made with less fiberglass. Yep. So. Oh. <laughs> okay. yep. Easier to eat. <laughs> Wonderful. It, it is easier to eat. It doesn't hurt your teeth as much and it doesn't stick nearly as bad. I'm going to have to try this out now. It's really good. I like wow. the new. I like the new Butterfinger. Brittany knows because I, I destroyed. I miss those like Butterfinger BBs. Oh, those are so good. Those are really good. Those yeah, are a really easy way to eat Butterfingers. Bart Simpson would advertise the shit out of those. Yeah, those mm-hmm. are really good. Don't lay a finger on my Butterfinger BBs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brittany, tell me about your go-to milkshake. Is the Oreo mint? I think I love mint ice cream, but I'm not a fan of the chocolate bits and the mint, if that makes sense, because they're always semi sweet and I only Mm. like milk chocolate. So I like to get the Oreo instead. So I do the Oreo mint. Um, If I want something like uh, peanut buttery, I do like to get the chocolate fudge and mix that with the Reese's cups as well. Mm. It's pretty good. Very and then nice. obviously in the summer, in July, you got to get the watermelon milkshake because uh, yeah. it's seasonal. It only comes out in July. I don't think I've ever actually had one of the it's watermelon. It's so good. It's better than what you think it would be because yeah. it's literally just a vanilla milkshake with pieces of watermelon in it. Mm. And huh. you think that probably isn't good or <laughs> isn't a good idea, but it really is. It's really awesome. You, you, so speaking of seasonal, so since we're in December, uh, technically right now, whereas we're recording, eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> eggnog is... Just ruin those dates. They're good. Well, <laughs> we can edit that out. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> fine. Um... It, Brian hates editing. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. So in December, uh, <laughs> cookout. Uh, why are you laughing at me? Stop it! Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a very subtle bullying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so so December they have eggnog uh, uh, milkshakes. I don't think I've actually had one of their eggnog milkshakes. They have a new had eggnog it's milkshake good. too. I like the eggnog milkshake. It's just, it's like. When you drink eggnog, you're like, fuck yeah, eggnog. I'm going to get a big carton of it. Mm. And then you drink like that much of it and you're like, oh God. Oh yeah. Oh, the eggnog milkshake is kind of like that. Oh, okay. And it's worse now. This this past year they had a new flavor, chocolate eggnog milkshake. What? That sounds like a crime. It was a crime. <laughs> I have to have it in my body. Yeah. 
Yeah. So uh, they have a new one, and it is rich. <laughs> <laughs> So one of my Holy. things, like when I get a, a milkshake from Cookout, I want like chunks of stuff in it. Yeah, yeah. I don't ever want to get anything that's just like a solid like flavor of mm-hmm. just smoothness. I need the chunky bits. Yeah, so Mine's, my okay. go-to is usually a strawberry cheesecake. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. Um, that's a great one. And I'm a, a big fan of that. Um, my other is like an off the shelf, <laughs> but it's the banana pudding. And yeah. if you haven't had the banana pudding milkshake, it's, it's I haven't. I need I need to have it. It is yeah. absolutely one of the best like basic flavor ones that they have. Yeah, <clears throat> and it's got like crumbly Nilla wafer bits. Really, and I don't think I've ever had the banana pudding and... one. Oh, it's hell. There's good. a lot there that I haven't had because I constantly go and just buy the same things because mm-hmm. I'm like that was so good. I don't want to like. You get a quesadilla just... tray with two quesadillas as the side. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah I, I get that it's just like, like my chicken queso. tenders tray with chicken uh nuggets and a chicken quesadilla mm-hmm. check me <laughs> up inside i'm asked for a chicken milkshake i'm sure they'll do it <laughs> if i ask oh god um yes sir please wait <laughs> it's gonna take a little extra time and then you pull up and then the cops come <laughs> <laughs> And you're like, did I do anything wrong? They're like, no, we're just worried about you. <laughs> we're concerned about what you might do, both to yourself and the world. <laughs> Chicken milkshake sounds terrible. Yeah, that sounds like that. I, I tried doing um a like chicken uh parade when I was having throat issues before. Yeah. And tried to drink it. It's off putting as hell, oh, yeah. man. So my pops used to like manage kitchens for retirement homes, and one of the things that they'll do is they'll make easier to eat and digest things. Where essentially they make a chicken puree mm-hmm. and then let it cool in a silicon mold, so it still kind of looks like chicken, mm-hmm. but it's just chicken mush. Yeah, that's bad. I feel like I've had breaded chicken mush before at, like, high school. Probably. Yeah, probably. That's, I mean, that's essentially how they make a lot of the uh, nugs. Cafeteria-type mm-hmm. food. Okay. Yeah. Um, we'll bring it back to some, some uh, g- good food. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, my go-to uh, mix-in milkshake is Oreo um, with Reese's Pieces. Um, and uh, I used to put it brownie in. Mm-hmm. But brownies good. But do they, do they still have it? Because I don't think they have many. They got rid of excessive. They got rid of brownies and they got rid of red velvet cake. Mm. I never had did the red velvet red cake velvet when they had cake? it. They had red velvet cake with their cheesecake. Damn, it was really good. But it was also <clears throat> it was like really good for a third of the milkshake, and then the rest of the time you're like, it's just like too much. Just mm. a slice of cake in your. Yeah, it's just a fucking <laughs> slice just of cake in your. <laughs> they milk. just shove like a slice of cake in the, and then dump ice cream on top of it. Yeah, yeah. Here yeah, you go, it's... Tubby. <laughs> throw it at you. Here's your spoon. <laughs> um, here, my here, favorite. They always your, give you a spoon for your uh, milk. <laughs> they give you yeah. a straw. It's like, what the fuck are you gonna do with why this? Are you, why are you giving me a spoon and a straw? You know I'm gonna scoop this up with my hush puppies like a raccoon. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> when it comes to milkshakes, though, I can't do. It's interesting you said like the Reese's Pieces because mm-hmm. I. I don't like shelled candy mm. in that. Oh, I, if yeah, so there's something that the that, cups are better, in my opinion. Yeah, I'd rather have like um, a, a, a peanut butter cup, but but still, I I don't want a hole. Yeah, and if I have something like kind of chunky and crunchy, I want it to be able to like uh, uh, sog up. Yeah, a little bit. So I I did misspeak. Uh, I, I I meant the Reese's cups, not the okay. pieces. So yeah, I'm the same way. Do they have Reese's pieces? I think they I think have they cups. do. I'm not sure. I know oh. they have. I know they have M and M's, which are candy yeah. coated, so they get that similar experience. Mm. I don't know. Um, but anyway, uh, like the the caramel fudge. Oh yeah, that's a really good one. Yeah, I, but I can't mix anything with it. I feel like it's it's so good on its own, and anything else would kind of throw off the juju with it. So mm, yeah. So for the longest time, I only got basic Hershey's chocolate milkshakes. 
Huh. For the longest time, mm. I got the basic one. It's yeah. a really good chocolate milkshake. Yeah. Um. And Brittany used to hassle me about it. And every now and then, I'll still just get a chocolate because milkshake. Because every single time I went to cook out, he would only get the chocolate milkshake. And it just seemed so weird because there was like all these different flavors. And he's just like, oh, the chocolate. I just, the chocolate do they mix please? in like the syrup with it? Yeah. Oh. It's, it's just vanilla. It's a vanilla uh, milkshake with Hershey's chocolate syrup in it. And it's so good. Oh, hell yeah. It's really... Really, really, really fucking basic, and I don't care, dude. No, that sounds that sounds heavenly. Hell yeah! My favorite basic milkshake as a kid was just like a peach milkshake. So yeah, um, I don't like the flavor peach, but any like of their like fruit of flavors are really pretty good. good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like the watermelon one is actually a lot mm-hmm. like the peach one, but you can get the peach one year round. Hell uh, yeah. <clears throat> Um, I don't know. The only other thing that I get there on the regular that isn't milkshake is a milkshake ish <laughs> is I'll get their Coke float, and they also have cheer wine floats mm, there. I do get the cheer wine float mm. a lot, and those like it's, it's a classic little drink. Like it's nothing special, but I, I'll get those instead of milkshake every now. And I then. might try that one time. It's a little lighter. I don't usually like cheer wine, but cheer, I don't know. Cheer wine floats good. You, know, you, you can know. ask them for Mountain Dew. <laughs> They'll do it. I don't think I'd like that. <laughs> Do you guys know that you could get uh, just a slice of cheesecake from Cookout, too? Yeah, so yeah. That's how I know that they just put a slice of cheesecake in your milkshake yeah. and blend it up like we were talking about. I think, yeah, I, I, think I have le- legit just ordered a slice of strawberry cheesecake mm-hmm. from there. It's, it's really good. It is good. Uh, putting cheesecake with your other things is – you. the fact that you can put cheesecake in, in a milkshake is a fucking crime, and yeah. I love it. Mm-hmm. You, you said it is a crime. Yeah, it's a you, fucking crime you that you can do this. There. This shouldn't be. No one should be allowed to do. But this. that's the crime you want to but do next year. Is, that's it. There we go. This is America, and here we eat cheesecake with everything. Yeah, I find it really interesting that three, uh, three out of four of us, uh, our base ice uh, milkshake is Oreo. Mm. Yeah, I've always wanted to do an Oreo cheesecake. It's good milkshake. I've done it. It's good. Um, yeah, it sounds good. Or uh, for me, it's just like the Oreo itself uh, <laughs> gets that sog factor really, really quickly, yeah. mm-hmm. and it's a great base <clears throat> for just about yeah. anything else. You need that like soft. It's like a soft crunch. Yeah, yeah, soft crunch. Yeah, it's a soft crunch. Oreos it's in like general soft are rock. Great, It's like. Michael Bolton. It's a Michael Bolton version of cookies. <laughs> Speaking of Oreo, so we tried the, the mystery Oreo yeah, the flavor before. So they unveiled what that flavor is. What is it? It's churro. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, it's a very cinnamon. Fl- yeah, flavor. Somebody yeah. Somebody said that it was fish. I want to know how they got fish out of. What the fuck churro? are they smoking they when they said know that? How to translate words. <laughs> Um, it, it, it reminded me of like the, um, t- like, uh, cinnamon, like Teddy Grahams or like, you know, mm-hmm. like graham cracker. Like it was in that you sort mean of flavor. Rumchata? Tedward Grahams? Rump- yes. <laughs> Tedward <laughs> Grahams. <laughs> Theodore Graham. <laughs> Theodore Graham. <laughs> I'm sure that's a person. Um, what, what is your, what, so we've got some time left. What is your cookout tray of choice? Um, I will either get a burger with just cheese um, and then I'll do like a corn dog and chicken nuggets. Nice. Uh, and then if I want chicken tenders, I'll do uh, onion rings instead, and still do the uh, the corn dog. Nice. I fucking love corn dogs. Mm-hmm. Sometimes get, I go there and just get the corn dog tray. Got really good ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like the burger, either cheddar style or uh, out west style. Um, and then. Depending on my mood, I'll do onion rings or Cajun fries um, and hush puppies. Nice. With a milkshake, as previously stated, to scoop the milkshake with the hush puppies. Um, But occasionally I'll do the fried chicken wrap, the honey mustard one, because that's also fucking dank. Nice choice. Um, I Most of the time I'll get a barbecue tray. I'll get the, um, you know, just the mush pulled pork barbecue one. Mm-hmm. Uh, no slaw. I don't like the slaw on it because slaw is terrible. Agreed. Um, and then I'll get either chicken nuggets and a corn dog. Or if I want some carbs, some extra carbs, I'll get the uh, Cajun fries and a corn dog. 
And sometimes I say, fuck it. I get uh, chicken nuggets and a corn dog, and I'll just get an extra order of fries. Mm. And for real, though, if you've never <laughs> been to a cookout, you have missed out on your life. Yeah. So cookout is fantastic. That being said, a lot of uh, locals build it up, and it's not yes. that it's it's not that it's – amazing it's amazing that it's always open just yeah. about it's insanely affordable yeah and you get and a, you lot, get of a lot of really cheap. good food for it so <clears throat> at like 2 a.m you're like i'm fucking starving mm-hmm. for like a burger you can go to cook out yeah and get it, and the main great. one next to us is open till 4 30 in the morning mm-hmm. and they o- open back up at like 10 a.m 10, yeah it's insane yeah so um, um that's what's really great about yeah. cookout yeah uh, as long as it's not near a college campus, because then you'll never get into it unless you're waiting for like an hour. You're yeah. willing to wait. Yeah. Um, so uh, my tray, I usually always get the ch- chicken strips. Okay. I, I love chicken. There's chicken strips. Um, but I also will like their um, their double burger cheddar style. Yeah, hold those good. onions. Um, uh, but my s- sides of choice would be Cajun fries, um, corn dog, and sometimes hush puppies. Depends. Mm, those so. hush puppies are really good. Yeah. There's a another cookout tray that I like to get, which is two corn dogs as my main, mm-hmm. and then a corn dog as my side twice. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Just give me four yeah. corn dogs. Because that's cookout is so fucking insane. Yeah, that is a perfectly reasonable meal that will not be scoffed at by the wait Some, staff. Someone yeah. will fucking make it for you. That yeah, won't say you anything. Want four oh. hot, four corn dogs in a styrofoam container. It can be Here yours. You are. You raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for cookout. Please uh, send the check to uh, this address. <laughs> right, we'll be back for in a minute for the next segment. Bye. 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 Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Not in a minute. Well, it might be tomorrow. It could it might be in be, a minute. Or it, it could, could be, be tomorrow. It doesn't matter. We figuring out our distribution Ow. process. I mean, they're both happening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we cut it. Now, see you soon or tomorrow. <laughs>